Alright guys, so welcome back to more of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. In the previous episode, Kyurem absolutely kicked my butt, and it sucked. So I went back and I got some Reviver Seeds and a couple of Oran Berries, and I'm hoping that it is enough to hopefully get us past this. I'm going to go ahead and use an All Dodge Orb, and then I'm going to use an All Power Up Orb. So let's see what happens. Oh boy. Oh boy, let's use an All Power Up Orb. There we go, power up. I really should have moved out of the way because I think he's going to come back down and kill me. Oh, ha 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 ha, hello, Thunderbolt. Yeah, 60 damage. Oh, crap. Move over here. Oh, no, please don't kill Snivy. Snivy, 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 don't die, man. Don't you dare die. We're going to use our Oran Berries first. There you go, Snivy. Good job, Snivy. Oh, come on, Snivy, now. That's not even cool. Not even cool, man. Yeah, you better get some attacks in there. Better get some attacks in there. We're gonna have a problem. Oh, no. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That's Yeah, that hurts, Snivy. That's okay. We got Reviver Seeds. You were revived. Yay, Snivy. Snivy was revived. Kick a drain. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, boy. Get out of the way. You're an idiot. Okay, good. Oh, no. Snivy, be careful. Snivy, be careful. Snivy, stop dying. Oh, crap. Thunderbolt. Oh, I missed. Yes! Oh, my gosh. We beat Kyurem. Woohoo! That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good job, guys. Yes, I beat you. Ha! Ha! We did it. We actually beat Kyurem. Pikachu, we've got to hurry to where the bitter cold is. Wait, it is impossible. I understand now the strength of your beliefs, but no matter how you struggle, no matter how you try, this is the future and it cannot be changed. And yet, what lies ahead, what the strength of those beliefs might lead to, that is something I might like to see. Kyurem, prove it then. Show me the strength of your will, the strength of your spirit. Kyurem? You just watch, Kyurem. We'll show you the true will and spirit. Let's go. Alright, well. We took care of Kyurem. Now, let's see what's going to happen next. Would you like to save your adventure? I would love to save my adventure. Save and continue. Please save and continue. Please, please, please. We have plenty of reviver seeds left. A giant snowflake. So that is the bitter cold. Can't breathe. Snivy! This, this is no ordinary wind. It's Kiram's voice. This wind is made up of the negative emotions of this world's Pokemon. We call this phenomenon the winds of despair. The winds of despair? That is correct. Distrust, despair, hopelessness. All the negative feelings are absorbed by the bitter cold through this wind. The wind becomes a powerful storm, roaring destructively in all directions. And the bitter cold uses these winds of despair as energy. They feed it. They cause it to grow. So that's it. The winds of despair are actually made of negative emotion. And being exposed to the winds up close, no wonder Snivy is having such a hard time. Pikachu, I'm fine. So just hurry and destroy the bitter cold. Ah! My chest! I can't breathe! But it's not supposed to affect me. I'm not a Pokemon. Negative emotions built into an agony that even I can feel? But even so, it's still probably not as bad as what Snivy has gone through. I've got to keep going. Ah, ah. The pain is, I can't summon up any strength. I can't take even one more step forward. This can't be happening. I've come this far. I've come this far, and now I can't do a thing to change our fate? Everyone, everyone's counting on me, and yet I'm supposed to be the one who can save this world, so why am I, why can't I do anything? You can do it. What was that? I thought I heard... 
Don't give up. I, I wasn't just hearing things. You can do it. I can hear it too. Don't give up. I also hear it. Don't give up. You can do it. Don't give up. Don't give up. The voices, they're multiplying. Don't give up. Don't give up. You can do it. Don't give up. The wind is... Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. This... This is... Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up yet. Don't give up. Please, don't give up. Don't you give up on us now. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're going to do it. You'll be hearing from me if you give up now. You can do it. No giving up now. Yeah, you'd better not give up. Just get it done. Don't stumble now. I believe in you. And I'm counting on you. Don't give up. Don't give up. This is... Everyone is... These are the voices of the ones who believe in you. The Pokemon are broadcasting their thoughts and wishes to this place. It may not be all the Pokemon in this world, yet there are Pokemon who have turned to face the future again thanks to your call. The number of our Pokemon who are clinging to this hope has increased. Their voices of support have weakened the winds of despair. Weakened the winds? That is correct. The positive energy of those Pokemon. It is hindering the movement of the bitter cold. I knew it. If we just got everybody to stay positive, I knew we could change the world. And the future. My strength is coming back to me. I can fight now. Here I go. We're gonna fight a crystal? Are you kidding me? I gotta actually fight it? Oh boy. Okay, um... Well, let me use an all dodge orb. Okay. Uh, ow, I'm confused. Hang on. Let's use an all health orb. There we go, health orb. Yeah. Move miss me. Ha 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 ha. Wah ha ha, thunderbolt. Bitter cold didn't take any damage, but all you can do is keep attacking. Really now. Okay, well I'm going to use an orange berry. Move missed me. Wah ha ha. You can't do damage. I have to keep trying. Are you kidding me, man? How about quick attack? You can't damage the bitter cold. What the heck? Move missed me, ha huh? I can't damage it. Move missed me again. Why can't I damage the bitter cold? I'm gonna poke it. I can't damage it. What do I do? <laughs> this is terrible. All of my PP have been lowered. You know, that's fine. I don't really care. Whereas here's an orange berry. Move missed me. Ha ha. Quick attack. Yay, what happens now? <laughs> Obviously, I can't win. I can't win. I can't win. My attacks. My attacks aren't doing anything. Not a one has landed. No matter how I attack, I can't even scratch the bitter cold. Then how can I possibly... No! Arg! The moment I begin to doubt myself. The wind. Pikachu, you can't lose faith now. You have to stay strong. The wind is... The bitter cold is getting even more... Powerful. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh no! Granddad, I can see something above the glacier palace. Oh, what is it? That evil looking purple vortex. What is happening now? I don't feel as though it could be anything good. Yeah, it sure does give off one wicked feeling. That purple mess up there. We all tried to come together and stay positive, but it doesn't seem to be helping at all. It's pretty tough. Even staying positive seems as though it won't be enough, doesn't it? Reality truly is harsh. Wait, what are you all saying? We can't give up now. The Pokemon who have passed through Post Town are surely spreading the word. And thanks to them, I'm sure the other Pokemon in towns are joining in too. 
Um, what about everyone in the square? They aren't watching the Glacier Palace, but they're still giving it all they've got. What will they do if we all start panicking because we can see what's going on? We've got to have more faith. In Pikachu, and in everyone who went to the Glacier Palace. Hey, look everybody, that purple cloud thingy is... It's getting even bigger. He's right, yo, look at... Look, look! I knew it! We're doomed, aren't we? Even coming together now, it was too late for us to change a thing, right? Granddad. Lollipop. Don't give up, or don't give in to your fears now. They'll be needing us to stand strong. We can't just... What's wrong? Why is it that my words sound so futile to my own ears? They don't sound like the words, uh, one would speak from his heart. Why? Why is that? Could it be that even I, even myself, I, I can't read his text. I know he's supposed to be like an old pirate guy and ye and, but I can't, I can't read. In the end, our blasted fate cannot be changed, can it? No, it can't be changed, apparently. Ugh. Pikachu, you can't give up. I'm gonna believe until the end. So you've gotta do the same, Pikachu. That's right. I won't give up. I'll wring out every last bit of strength I've got. And attack. Attack again? It doesn't do any damage. Oh, okay, you just tackled it. Wow, really? You cracked it. It exploded, I win! <laughs> I win! It exploded! I win, I win, I win! A rainbow! How pretty. Everyone! Everyone, look at that! That's a rainbow? He's right, it's a rainbow. Behind the Glacier Palace, you can see a rainbow. It can't be. It, it can't be the rainbows of, of the olden days. Pretty sure that's it old. No, the rainbow. It's disappearing. Again? Why? Whoa. It was only for a few seconds, but everyone saw it, right? Yes, I saw it. It was a beautiful rainbow. It's true, then, that Bonnie memory from the old days had nearly faded away, but there could be no mistaking it. There was once the rainbows of hope. I'm fair certain of it. I knew it. I knew it had to be them. They're back. The rainbows of hope. Just seeing them is enough to fill everyone with hope. I want to see them again. I would like to see them stretched all the way across the sky. I'm going to tell everyone in the square. Hope. Hi, there's still a bit of hope left for us then. Please, let us see them again. Show me too. Bring them, uh, bring back the rainbows of hope. Please, bring them back for us. Pikachu. The voices, everyone's voices, I can hear them. Their feelings, their hearts, they are all driving me forward. Pikachu, go! Oh, do I get to fight again? Oh, I get to fight again. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Okay, let's use Thunderbolt. Oh, it's actually taking damage this time. That's awesome. Haha, <laughs> you're missing me. This is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, no. That's okay. Keep going. We're good. We are so good. Oh, crap. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, let's use a... Let's use a health orb. Okay, let's use an Orin Berry. I only got one Orin Berry left. But I've got like six Reviver Seeds, so we should be okay. 34 damage, that's fine. I'm gonna use a Power Up Orb. Where's it at? Power Up. All Power Up Orb. Alright, I am. I'm ready. Yeah! The Bitter Cold fainted. Yay!
We did it! Pikachu, you finally defeated the bitter cold! Oh, the rainbows! I can see the rainbows, and they seem even clearer than they used to be. That purple haze is gone, too. And in its place, the rainbows of hope! They're showing up clear and beautiful. The Glacier Palace! It's collapsing! Collapsing? Oh no! What about Pikachu and the others? I think they're still in there! Please! Please let everyone be okay! We'll save and continue. This is... that's right. I think I must have blacked out after the bitter cold shattered. Snivy. Yeah. Pikachu! It's really you, right? You're really okay, Pikachu? Thank goodness. But, where are we? Don't tell me. We aren't in the spirit world or something, right? No. This is a place deep within your own consciousness, deep within your mind. Kiram! You too. You have changed the future irrevocably. The future is truth. It is a thing that must not be changed. It is the true path that we must follow. And yet, I do wonder, if you have the determination and bravery to create a new destiny for yourself, then perhaps there is also a sort of truth in daring to face a different tomorrow. Perhaps there is still some worth in the Pokémon of this world. You two have proven that. I owe you my gratitude. I give you my thanks. Where's the other people at? Really? Are we the only two that made it back? This is the road that lies outside... Pikachu! We blacked out at the Glacier Palace, right? So how'd we get here? Hey! Everyone! Thank goodness! I can't believe the two of you aren't hurt. That's really great, you know? Sniffle. And you all, thank goodness. But how did you all... Did you end up using the Enter cards to escape? Nope. The truth is, we'd hoped to use them, but there wasn't any time for that. Plus, we still had to worry about Mana and the others. There was no way we could get all of them into the Magna Gate in time. And besides, there's no way we were going to leave you guys and head home on our own. But just as we were standing around wondering what to do, the Glacier Palace started falling apart just like that. But what happened after that is a true mystery. Yeah, the next thing we knew, we were all here in paradise. What? You were? Then it's the same as us. I felt like I had some kind of dream. And the next thing I noticed, I was here. I don't know how we were all saved. What could have happened? It really is a mystery. I suppose it was Kiram. Kiram must have saved us. Me and everyone else. I'm sure even Mana and her gang. Kiram said at the end that he owed us. This must be his way of thanking us. Well, I don't really get it, but I guess all's well that ends well. Everybody seems to have made it out alright. I guess so. I suppose thinking about it isn't going to get me any answers. That's right. I may not be quite as carefree as Emogla, but, well, shouldn't we basically be celebrating right now? I think someday we may understand how we were saved. As long as we don't forget how grateful we should be when that day comes. Yeah, you're probably right. What was that, Verizian? You trying to make me sound like some kind of carefree fool or something? Oh, and here I thought I was complimenting you. My, my, you two. When did you become such good friends? What? We're not friends or anything. 
We're fighting, just like we always do, aren't we? Hmm, are you really? The tone somehow seems a little different than usual. I was just thinking the same thing. Imogla, did something perhaps happen between the two of you? N nothing at all. Not a blessed thing. No way. Well, isn't that a delightful reaction? You really are quite the open book, aren't you, Imogla? Ha 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 It's Dunsparce! Pikachu Snivy! Dunsparce! And the rest of the team, too. Everyone came back all right. You're really all all right. Sniffle, sniffle. Oh, Dunsparce is going to cry. We're back, Dunsparce. We came back just like we said we would. No need to cry. Didn't I tell you there wasn't anything to worry about? You did. But... When the Glacier Palace collapsed like that, I couldn't help worrying about you all. Well, yeah, even I didn't know what was going to happen then. The Pikachu and everyone turned out to be fine, so I guess we just have to call it an unexplained wonder, huh? That's it. Speaking of unexplained wonders, right after the Glacier Palace collapsed, the rainbows appeared. Rainbows? It's true. Amazing. They're as clear as day. What beautiful rainbows. Dunsparce, these rainbows, could they be? Yup. Heard Ari and the others called them the Rainbows of Hope. The Rainbows of Hope. Is that right? So those are the famous Rainbows of Hope. They've finally been revived. The rainbows that are said to rekindle the flame of hope in the hearts of all who see them. Hey, looks like things have worked out pretty nice. The bitter cold was destroyed. The glacier palace crumbled into pieces, and now the rainbows of hope have re reappeared. I'm pretty sure, yep, there's just no sense denying it. You are right, Emo Glesser. The world has been saved. Oh my gosh, he's alive! Ah, it's a monster! Hi, 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 dragon! That's right, I'm hi, dragon. It's been a while, hasn't it, Snivy? But, Hi Dragon, you were. After Kirim froze you, he lashed out and you. You were shattered into a million pieces, right? Are you. A ghost? What? A ghost? No, 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 no. I'm most definitely not a ghost or anything. No, I am not a ghost. I am the voice of life. The only thing Kirim destroyed was my physical form. Even if my body is scattered on the wind, the voice of life will not simply disappear. If I disappeared, that would mean the whole world had been destroyed. Ha ha ha. But more importantly, all of you here, thank you so very much. The world has been saved thanks to all of you. Pikachu Snivy. You two made it back. How wonderful that you are all right. Ooh hoo hoo, Sniffles, I'm so happy. It looks so good to see you all alive and well. Hey guys, you listening? Pikachu and the others are all back. What? Pikachu and the others? Yeah, they're up on the hill right now. Oh, hail the returning heroes, you hear? We're gonna party hard tonight. Yeah! Whoa! You lads and lasses, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have saved us all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Snivy, we tried our hardest too. Yeah, we were able to break the bitter cold because you were all standing behind us. We're the ones who should be thanking you all, really. I'm so sorry I didn't believe in you guys, but the rainbows of hope, the rainbows of hope are back. It's all because you guys, thanks. And that was how the gratitude of the Pokemon poured down upon us without cease. No, it wasn't just the Pokemon. The gentle sunshine on our faces, the mountains and the rivers, even the clear sky above. They all seemed to be thanking Pikachu and the rest of us that day. And that night, in honor of our new peace, we built up a bonfire and a great celebration began. Thank goodness the world was saved, yep. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Aye, right? Even a human like Pikachu found it hard to breathe in the face of the crushing power of the bitter cold. But, uh, even you overcame it and saved the world. Bless you, child. I'm sorry. I didn't believe in you guys when I should have. Me too. I was no better. Nah, none of you twerps have anything to feel bad about. I'm the one who I didn't believe in him even though I was right there in paradise with them. 
I'm the worst of you all losers. Snivy, I'm so sorry, dude. I really am. Unlike all the other times I said it. No, I'm definitely the worst of all. No, I am. That's enough, everyone. But thanks anyways. Everyone, everything is on the house tonight. Dig in and don't hold back. All right. You ain't a face I've seen around here before. Faces, I guess I should say. That's right. This is probably the first time I've imposed on you here in Prost Town. Meh, I don't care who you are. This is a day to party. Don't hold back or nothing. Please eat as much as you'd like. Is that right? Well, I suppose I'll just have to take you up on your kind words then. Heh, <laughs> this feels pretty good. Yeah, this is the best night ever. I can still remember. When Snivy and Pikachu first showed up in this town, I never would have thought that those two would do so much for us. Never could have imagined it. I'm glad I became the assembler of paradise. I'm glad that I could support Pikachu and the rest of you. Boo hoo hoo! What? Keldeo, you, you gambled on leaving those enter cards at the glacier with nothing more to go on than the slight chance someone might find them? That's right. When I, when I was locked up in the Tower of Ice, there was some kind of commotion one day at the Glacier Palace. Since I was just a prisoner, I didn't get to find out what had happened. But it still made me feel certain of one thing. Someone else had finally made it. To the unexplored reaches of the Glacier Palace. And that was when I thought. If someone was clever enough to make it all the way to the Glacier Palace, then there might just be a chance it could work. So, like, someone like that ought to notice even the tiniest detail. I didn't have much choice except to believe in such Pokemon and leave it up to them. I couldn't activate the Magnegate from where I locked, where I was locked inside that tower, but I could still make Enter cards at least. I knew the Glacier Palace would end up airborne sooner or later. Waiting for that day in my tower, I made a set of Enter cards that could cross the sky. And when the Glacier Palace finally did rise up in the sky, I took those Enter cards and scattered them from my grated window. Unbelievable! How could you possibly bet on such a slim chance? If it had been me, I would have surely thought of a better way to escape. What? Sob, I'm so sorry. That was the best plan I could come up with. I didn't think you'd crumble that quickly under a bit of criticism. What a guy. But thanks to Espeon's intuition, even that slim chance was enough for us to find the cards, you know? Well, that is true. But it mostly just seems like another unexplained wonder. There were a lot of those kinds of wonders this time around. If Pikachu weren't here, we wouldn't ever have been able to destroy the bitter cold. And if everybody here hadn't come together like they did, then even Pikachu wouldn't have been enough. And if we hadn't found the inter cards that Keldeo made, we never would have even made it to the Glacier Palace in the first place. That's right. I saved the day, huh? Oh my, but wasn't it the two of us that had to save you? Sob. That's right. I had to be saved. Hey, Frizian! Is Keldeo always like that? Shh. In a pinch, he's the best Pokemon in the world to have by your side. But the mood swings, yes, unfortunately, they're also part of the same Keldeo I've always known. It's okay. You did a whole lot for us. Yeah, yeah, I guess I did. Thanks, Frizian. At any rate, without Pikachu and Snivy, really, if any single Pokemon from the team hadn't been there, we never would have succeeded. We wouldn't have been able to save this world. That's right, tonight is really thanks to the courage of everyone here and so many wondrous things happening in time. Everyone here is a star in this tale. Everyone here was a hero or heroine. That's what we're here to celebrate tonight. Let's all kick back and enjoy ourselves. Phew, I could use a break from all the excitement. Maybe I'll just go stargaze for a bit. Pikachu. Hi, Dragon. Pikachu, please allow me to express again my formal and sincere thanks to you. You listened to my request and granted my wish. You saved my world. And, now my dear Pikachu, your part in this world has come to an end. In short, well, I hate to be the one to have to say anything, but the long-term presence of a human in this world is not possible. 
It would create a distortion that would strain the very fabric of the universe. A distortion? What this means, Pikachu, is that I must send you back. Back to the human world. <clears throat> Go back to the human world? Ah, uh, right. So, we were right, and saving this world means leaving it. Pikachu, this makes me so very sad. I seem to have grown quite attached to you, Pikachu. But I'm sorry. This is something that I cannot alter or change. I'm sure you must have many regrets about this, Pikachu. Regrets, huh? My greatest regret has to be that one thoughtless moment. Pikachu, you, you'll you probably go back to your own world, won't you? The human world? Will I? I hadn't really thought about it. But if I'm here in the Pokemon world to complete a specific task, then I guess it makes sense that I would be sent back home afterward. You don't know either, huh? Hey, Pikachu, if you don't know what to do, I, I, I think you should stay here forever. What? Please, Pikachu, just stay here with us forever, okay? Really? All right. Ah, I'm so relieved. Thanks, Pikachu. Without thinking, I promised Snivy that I would stay with him forever. It looks like I'll be breaking that promise. It will happen tomorrow. Enveloped in brilliant light, you will be carried up into the sky. Just like the lights that I once watched from this very spot. Kiram told me the truth about them, didn't he? Those lights. And now it is finally my time to return. Surrounded by that light, I will go back to my old world. The human world. There is one more painful truth that it is my duty to impart. Once you are swallowed up in that light, Pikachu, all of your time here in the Pokemon world and all that you did will disappear from the memories of the Pokemon remaining here. What? The Pokemon will... Everyone will forget me? They'll forget me and all my memories and... Yes, I'm sorry. It really is terribly heartbreaking and I am so very sorry. I am the voice of life and so I will not forget you, Pikachu. But everyone else... When I am surrounded by that light, everyone else will forget me. All of our memories, all the time we've spent together, it will all disappear. It really hurts. Tomorrow, I will stay with you as far as I can along the way. Would you like to say farewell to everyone tonight? <clears throat> I would, but I don't want to make them all sad right now. If I'm going to disappear from their memories, then saying goodbye to Snivy and everyone else tonight would just cause them pain for no reason. So I'll go without saying anything. You, you're not going to say goodbye? I see. No, it makes sense. You don't want to make your friends suffer. I understand. Then tomorrow morning, please come here to the hill. We will set out together. Early the next morning. Snivy, he's sleeping well. Snivy, I'm sorry for leaving without a word. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't keep my promise. Thank you for all the things you've done for me. I suppose this is the last time I'll ever see this house. Girder, we want we want you to build us a house. What? Girder, Timber, and Quagsire too. Thanks everybody. Everyone put their hearts into it. That's all that really matters. At any rate, this is going to be our new home. It seems like so long ago now that we built this house. I've made so many memories here already. Thank you, and goodbye. You were a great home to Snivy and me. Hi, Dragon. Good morning, Pikachu. I suppose it's not surprising that there are a few Pokemon awake at this hour. Now, once we depart, Pikachu, you will disappear from the memories of your friends. Are you sure you don't have any regrets? 
I see. Then, here we go. The light is... Right now, is this the moment? Has everyone already forgotten me? Even Snivy? But there's nothing I can do. I was summoned here because of Hydrain High Dragon's wish, and I succeeded in saving the world like I was supposed to. At least I was able to help everyone here. At least I was able to protect my friends. I shouldn't that be enough? That's so sad. I'm gonna cry. That's so sad. It's surprisingly fast. When I watch the others from the hill, it hardly even looked like they were moving, but... Post Town looks pretty small now. It's been quite a while since we started rising. We're pretty high up already, but even with how small it looks now, I think I could still recognize every last Pokemon in Post Town. That's right. Huh? What is it, Pikachu? You want to go see Paradise one last time? Of course, Pikachu. I have no objection. Let's go. Oh, I can see it, Paradise. Ah, it's Snivy. And he's talking with Quagsire. It's just another normal day in Paradise. Only, this time I'm not part of it. Snivy is... He's looking up at us. He's not... He's not looking away. <clears throat> Everyone. But they were all supposed to have forgotten me. Right, that's it. They've just noticed the light. They aren't looking at me. But they're looking at one another now. I feel like we are all still connected somehow, even if they don't remember me. I'm glad that I got to see all their faces once more. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Snivy. Are you ready to move on? Then off we go. Goodbye, Snivy. Even if you forget, I will always remember. Always. I will never forget you. Thank you, Snivy. Goodbye. Be happy. What a beautiful, flawless sky. If I recall, the sky was as perfect in blue when I first came here. Pikachu, look at that. So beautiful. It's the rainbows. The rainbows of hope. So the rainbows have appeared again today. I'm glad this will be my last sight of the Pokemon world. I'm glad I could see them. The rainbows of hope. Pikachu. I'm afraid this is as far as I can go. I truly owe you so much for what you have done. I can't even begin to imagine how I should thank you. I am overwhelmed by this great sense of gratitude towards you. Thank you, Pikachu. Thank you so very much. And finally, please take this. This is a frism. It belonged to Snivy. This is Snivy's frism? The truth is that last night during the celebration, Snivy approached me and he said, that if the day ever came when you must return to the human world, Pikachu, that I was to give this to you. And then Snivy handed me the frism that you now hold. I'm sure of it. This is the frism that was Snivy's precious treasure. Why would he... Now I must take my leave. Pikachu, thank you so very much. Please have a good life. Goodbye. The frism is white inside. There's something recorded in it. Pikachu warmed the frism. 
The frozen part of the frozen began to produce sounds. Pikachu, can you hear me? Oh, that's... that's Snivy's voice! Pikachu, if you are listening to my voice on this frism, then I guess that means the time has already come for you to leave our world. I know I told you before, but I've always been searching for something. What I wanted was someone to laugh with. Someone to suffer with, even fight with. Someone I would trust so completely that it wouldn't matter if we did fight. A true friend, that's what I was searching for. And then I finally found one. And that was you, Pikachu. We are true friends, you and me. You have been my dearest friend, and that's why I wanted us to stay together forever. But then I realized something. You are a human. That means you must have important people in the human world as well. And those people? They must be so worried about you right now, Pikachu. I don't want to make those people sad. So even if we had to say goodbye, I will watch you go with a smile. Even if we can't see each other anymore, I'll be thinking of you every day. I will never forget you. I heard all about it from High Dragon, about the light that will carry you away, and about the way everyone will forget about you. Maybe that's what will happen, but even so, I won't ever forget you, Pikachu. Snivy, come on, we've even changed fate by now, haven't we? Our friendship isn't something that's going to disappear so easily. So no matter how great the distance is between us, wherever you are, where, whenever it is, I won't ever forget you. And I'm not the only one. Hey, Pikachu! You listening? Imogla! They think we're just going to forget you or something? Like that ever happened? Are you kidding me? I know I won't ever forget you either. After all, Pikachu, you're my hero. Thank you, Pikachu. I won't be forgetting a single moment. You've done so many good things for us. When I think of how much you've meant to us, there's just no way we'd forget. Hey, Pikachu! You thought you could just sneak off without saying a word, huh? But we understand, Pikachu. That was just your way of trying to be kind. That's how much you care about everyone, isn't it? So we will quietly watch you go without interfering. But please don't worry about a thing. We won't ever forget our sweet Pikachu. Oh my goodness, Quagsire too. I could never forget you. I still remember the first time you ever set foot in Post Town, Pikachu. There's no way I'd forget that. If I do forget, then I... Boo-hoo, Quagsire. Pikachu, thank you for everything. I won't be forgetting a single moment. The same goes for all the Post Towners. Right, everybody? Yeah! It's quite sad to say goodbye after you came all the way to our world, but we won't forget you, so Pikachu, please remember us sometimes too, okay? Pikachu, have a really good life! If you need a house but you know who to call, I'll go all the way to the human world for a friend like you. You guys, all of you. Snivy, did you hear all that? I mean, Pikachu, did you hear all that? Everyone insists that you aren't going to forget you. Or, uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so even if tomorrow comes, and that light comes to carry you away, it may seem like we will lose all our memories. But the truth is, even if we have to defy fate, we will not forget. Everyone remembers that you fought harder than all the rest of us. That's why we cannot forget you. That's why there's no way we would forget. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Thank you for being one of us. Goodbye. Please have a good life. Goodbye. Take care. Aw, he's crying. Even when you said you wanted me to stay. Even though I promised you. Please, Pikachu, just stay here with us forever. But, you already knew, didn't you? That I wouldn't be keeping that promise. That I would have to leave you someday. And, in the end, when our eyes seemed to meet across the sky... Those eyes. The way those eyes fixed on me. I'm sure of it. Snivy, everyone. You didn't forget about me. You remembered me, didn't you? You looked up at the light, knowing it was me. To say goodbye. You even managed to overcome your fate to forget me. Snivy still. Everyone still. They still remember me. Snivy, my friends. Oh, Pikachu, so sad. Oh, 
Alright, and that is the end of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. And this is a 45 minute episode. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this before the credits um, are finished. If you guys enjoyed the series, be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. Um, I do play a lot of Pokemon games. I, I play so many Pokemon games. So if Pokemon is something you guys enjoy, subscribe as well. And I will be starting another Pokemon game probably in the next week or two. So I will see you guys soon. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this game. I really did. So I hope you guys did too. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.